episode of the Friend of the Les Francais campaign for Victoria 2 Into the Darkness. Wow, I think that was the first time I actually got that right. Give me props, everyone. Alright, so. <coughs> Unexpected coughing and sneezing. So, last episode we basically, uh, this another goal of taking over the entire Panama Canal region, where I now got some good troops stationed there. And right now we're going to be taking our army, as per se, our military, all the way back here to go pick up some new men for our future invasion of Argentina, but the Argentina invasion is going to wait because right now I need to kind of recover my economy, basically. So right now we have like hmm. Seems like that can be profitable. Yeah, I was going to close it down in a second, but it actually can be profitable if there's actually people in it. We just a high priority factory. Must have food. Hmm. Oh, sorry, people. I'm I'm nibbling on bubblegum right now. Bubblegum's really good. So, the Trumps has a newspaper. What does the Trumps say now? Play the sax. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The sax. Mm. Uh, maybe I'll put like a little sax solo there. Rush, the war between the Russian Empire and Cochrane. The armistice signed victory. What? Between France and Mexico ending in a glorious victory. The war known as French Congress of Panama waged from... Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. It's just recounting our victories. Mm. New patient, precise, Prescott Research Police has announced in the field of medicine. Well, I kind of... I was kind of already there. Like, I kind of already came up with medicine a long time ago. You know, just saying. They might be a little bit behind. You know, just saying. Just saying. Okay. For the next, like, couple years, I'll be just using my money to repay all my debts. I'm preparing myself for the, uh... Last Argentinian invasion, which will... I think basically finish off my uh Okay, well that line got messed up because of the Portuguese. But it'll basically finish off the uh Whoa! Hell there's actually won. Good for you. Good for you, Hell Dez. I never no. Nope. They deserve a high five, everyone, because I never expected a state like them to ever gain anything more than what they did. Okay. Man, I know so much to these, to these other countries. Hmm. So I'm slowly... Louis Napoleon Fries, after his failed coup of 1840, Louis Napoleon, nephew of Emperor Napoleon I, was sentenced to spend the remainder of his life in the fortress of Ham. However, in... May 1846, he managed to flee and escape to Great Britain. So he's the one that started all those reactionaries that nearly, or not nearly, just kind of damaged my troops and was very annoying. Mon Dieu. Mon Dieu, everyone. Mon Dieu. Okay. Alright, we got a new nationalist focus. And, seems like we got the Levant Charter. And West Banks. So during Napoleon's redrawing of the European map, the left bank of the river Rhine has been annexed to the French proper. In 1840, French Prime Minister Adolf Diaz publicly stated that, in his opinion, the Rhine still remained France's natural eastern border. With the hardship of the Napoleon Wars still in living memory, the statement caused uproar in Germany, sparking what would be known as the Rhine Crisis. So what does that give us? 
Our country is that that one of the following must be true. The North German is a primate culture. Relations with France changes by gain acquired causes barely on posture. Oh, that basically gives us eyes to see what happens. And this is the This is the this is the one I'm gonna be I'm gonna do later when I have when I have a little bit later. But no, we should probably leave like any Hmm. Whoa! Yeah, you can't have freedom of press. But yeah, we should probably leave like any kind of thing we want from Vine until later. There, there we go. Took me a while to spit that out, but we should probably leave it till later. And we have more naturalist focus, which hmm, what do I want to do with this one? Right. Did they ever eventually build this? In Kalimot. Let's see. Nope. They never did. Those stupid capitalists never did. <sighs> Man, this is why capitalists are kind of useless. Alright. Well then... I know it's kind of a futile hope, but since there is some, like, steel here or iron, I want to definitely, like, mine that, so maybe we can, like, start encouraging immigration. Nah, 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 dude, that's not gonna work. Is it? Come on. That's not gonna work. You're too smart for that. So, Fluvance is, is expanding. Roger, I think I'll give it some... No, I'll give it some craftsmen. Now we have a good amount of craftsmen. And it's time to do some new... state holy stuff. It's time to do one of these. One of these, so I meant that one. <laughs> ah. And wow. Mm -hmm. And how's the economy looking? Pretty good. And we have some more money. We have some more of our debt. Which is decreasing at a rapid rate. Now we have like 11 interests. Which is good. To be honest, you don't need that much interest in our game. And the rich don't have to pay anything anymore. I'm giving you the rich amnesty. Mm-hmm. Because I'm such a nice guy. No, they just really need to get their butts in the gear and start building my factories. Okay? Because I really do want factories. Okay, next, let's build our next, like... Okay, we actually do need to build an African army. Because we have, like, no African armies at all. Okay. And I'll probably just transport some troops from Europe. There we go. Alright, so yeah, I'll just transport some troops from Europe to go deal with them. Mm -hmm. And you? Go on that border so that we have some protection against the, uh... Oh, we have some actual, like, guards! Shoot! That's helpful. I don't know where we got the guards from, but that is really quite helpful. And you guys will be part of the new military that I'll build up. Grievous insults, gain a cause us barely. Against Bali. that was about but I got like bad diplomatic relationships with someone so it obviously must not have been so good 
And paper mill factories I will not support. Because I think they're kind of useless. Mm -hmm. And the don'ts! Bad feels on might. USA's relations. New patient. The USA. Neptune discovers the rise of the Ottoman Empire following Belgium's persisting decline. The Ottoman Empire assumed highest standings among nations of the world by ascending to the position of one of the great powers. I'm very proud. Wow. Good job, Ottomans. You finally rose to a good, acceptable status. Which means, you know, I could begin my invasion of... No. No. I have to wait. I have to wait a little bit longer, and I have to wait till I accomplish my other goals before I start thinking of invading them. Although, I can dream. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's increase some of our, like, forts here. You know, to help increase our, like, naval range. Is there anything we can do to, like, speed up our conquest of these guys? Hmm. Probably not. And when you can act reform, this is never good. Any, like, serious reform that anyone's in? Everyone's kind of, like, game behind? Nope, it seems like most people are kind of diverted right now, so that's good. We're just kind of, this is the, this is like peacetime, everyone. This is the, like, the ultimate peacetime. No one's at war, everyone's just really happy. I mean, who, ah, oh, dang. Okay. That isn't going to be profitable, no matter what they do. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just, I hate to be honest, but that's just not going to be profitable. And we have to honestly reserve these spots for profitable businesses, not businesses that are going to die instantly. Hmm. Okay. Oh, man, the music. Man, do I love this music. It's like the best music in the world. Okay, and finally. There. Debt's paid. No more debt. No more interest of any type. Now we can just kind of relax and just kind of have a cigar. We can actually resume some of my uh, like administration power because we, since most of it's 90%, none of it will go down. So uh, that's good. And I mean, we still aren't. The sad part is that we still aren't like spending maximum on our military. We're still like kind of just keeping it at like there. <coughs> <coughs> We have to wait until there's a government type to where it'll really like give us a lot of military score. But oh my goodness, when did the liberals take over? Okay, muzzle bullet rifles gave us some advantages now. But when the heck did the liberals take over? Like, seriously. And I do not substitute any factories. I know that sounds like a stupid idea, but really. If you, if you really can't hold your own, then I'm not going to be paying for it. You have to be able to hold your own on the wide stage of things. This is the French way. We are very harsh to our, to our people. Okay, but speaking of harshness, look how much we've grown. Like, our total population is now like 10.2, and wow, our laborers is like 30% of the population. It's actually really good. And most of, yeah, wow. And we have a new party called the Bonaparte, slowly moving up in ranks. I think that's probably going to be what we're going to switch into in the future. And Latomps! Sorry, everyone. Whenever Latomps comes up, you have to stop everything to enjoy this. What? We already discovered E equals MC squared? Wow. We're making a lot more progress than, than our world did. New party, a new party... The Liberal has formed in France. They are claimed to remain optimistic about even coming to power despite all odds. And then war between the United Kingdom and Zulu. Oh no. I feel so bad for the Zulu. Oh, it's already over. Never mind. <laughs> I, I did not... Wow. That, that was just sad. I mean, I, we, as soon as we knew about the war, they were already dead. Wow. Because poor Zulu, I mean, what are they feeling right now? I mean, this, they must feel like how every other nation I've fought so far must feel. Like they really couldn't do anything to stop this madness that I spread. 
and they knew that they were just going to be conquered in the end. And there was nothing they could do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get stop getting sentimental, and I'm gonna turn off the uh, the the new empire map, and just kind of relax. Okay, mining output, mining output definitely helped my economy. So now I can like focus on what was it, education? Because we do need to bump our education a little bit up because it's not it's not quite where I want it to be. And now that we have all these troops scattered around here, okay. How many do we need? We need six to go down to... Well, we need really four. No, yeah, four. And then the rest can go up here to go form with that army. And we'll have one guy going in here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Because now, the army will finally be made whole. And not be so pathetically, like... Divided and stuff. Okay, come on. Is yeah, Spain's still great power. Wow. Give them props. Give Spain props here. I never they I never thought they would still be in power by now. And the Ottomans? You guys are in great power. Good job. Good job. You guys deserved it, I think. Okay. You guys go down here. And yeah, all those soldiers from down here should be forming. Oof. Let's get down here. Okay. And we got cast out of Portugal again. I'm not really having too much fun doing that, but it's not really like a big deal right now. It's not like aggravating me. And look at the rest of the Argentinian military. <laughs> I, I feel like we don't even need this much, but we need to f be thinking of the future and the future when we're going to like take over more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm already thinking of the future. What are you thinking about? I don't know. Candles? That's stupid. Nah, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. When you when you've been playing this game like as long as I have, you start to like lose your insanity. Like, what is the famous saying from 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 Albert Einstein doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? You know, in a sense, that's what we do every single day with, like, video games. And I'm, I'm guessing the game hit on that, but that's basically what we do. We do the same thing in a video game over and over again. You know, expecting different results. And that sometimes breaks your mind. It makes you kind of cry on the inside. Ah. Okay. I'm going to get off this now, because now I'm starting to, like, go into a deeper part of my mind where I don't want to go to. Uh, paper mills I will not support, like I said. I will support explosive factories because they are actually helpful. I think. Okay, and is every factory doing well on its own? Yes, they are. Good job. And the friend cult, finally, finally building factories I wanted to be building. And the Tomps! Barbarian Pruskin Relations. Uh, paints a picture of the animal relationships. Invention. Uh, Argentina expands. Uh, Austin complete. Prices rise. Um, intervention, Ruskin fears our might. Have they been feared? No, they have not. That is good. That is good right there. But they are at war with rebels. So. That is not good. Well, that is good. And, whoa! Whoa, I just noticed Belgium. Look at Belgium, guys. They seriously have expanded. I mean, now they own, like, this entire little region. And they could potentially own this, too. Which means they're actually uniting the Netherlands in reverse. Wow. Who would have ever thought of that? Uniting Netherlands in reverse. Ah. But right now, our economy is slowly starting to, like, grow. And we are the biggest importers. Or our biggest imports are top three ex exported things. That's what I meant to say. Exported grains, coal, and fabrics. Those aren't bad markets to be in, by the way. Like grains are pretty good. So our fabrics, like, how are we doing in it? Let's see. Typical wood. I didn't expect this to be number one. Um, machine parts. We should be somewhere near the top. Okay. 
we are not quite outproducing everyone, but we're better than most. Glass, I don't even expect this to be in there. Fertilizer, we're somehow making a lot of fertilizer. Explosives, we're moving up on there. Clipper convoy, shouldn't even be in progress anymore. Steamer, we somehow have a good point in business in the steamer business, even though we don't even have a steamer, like, shop at all. It's really weird. Okay, we're very jindoism. Okay. I can't support a glass factory. Or I can support a glass factory. Right now, I'm just hoping the, uh... Factories be built. Because right now... Ah. Yes, this is the big industrial... Power thing I was talking about. Okay, anyone not making me money. Uh... I'll wait because I don't know how much. Let religion not become an issue. Okay, maximize. Okay. Yeah, this does make me money. That does make me money. Okay, these are all making me money. And it seems like the production of stuff has now increased by a lot. Residency, we don't want residency at all. Like, I don't care what the political views of my people is, but we don't want residency. And now we're starting to cook with cooking with this uh inventory, not inventory, but uh political advantage. Okay, free trade, free trade. Well, I'm I'm gonna build. I'm gonna be like the leading producer of like artillery. Who knew? French, the leading producer of artillery, interventionism. Okay. We got ne Neapolism, Fundamentalism, okay, we got all these factories starting to build. We're now starting to, like, keep up with, like, factories and stuff. It's so great. Okay, one more should do it. Get that. Colonial Migrations. Okay. Uh, we need to start investing a little bit more into... Hmm. We honestly don't need any of this. Okay. But everyone, that was an episode. It was kind of like a very relaxed, kind of carefree episode because we didn't really have much war. But next episode, we should be gaining our causes belly to go to war. So everyone, I'll see you guys next time.